Hi everybody, David here. Now today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to do logging with OpenTelemetry. And there are two real main ways to do this that I think it's important to cover. The first method is pretty easy, you use OTEL instrumentation. You can use the Java agent or you can set it up manually. If you set it up manually, you have the option to only send logs if you want to. You don't have to send traces and metrics. Let's say, for example, if you were worried about uh, the performance penalty of that and you just wanted to send logs over, absolutely no problem, you can do that. So I'm going to show you a little example. But first of all, let's talk about what happens here. So we got a function and we're doing some logging. If we set up our logging configuration to have the OTEL appender in it, then the OTEL instrumentation libraries will take care of the rest of it and send our logs to Elastic APM. So let's have a look at a little example I put together over here. So I've got a, an application. It's just a Spring Boot application, nothing fancy. We've essentially got an API here that essentially looks up for a user ID, looks up what their favorite movies are, right? So super easy, super simple. And then over here, we've got some initialization code which shows you how to set up our open telemetry logging initialization. So here we set the service name. This is very important. We also have the endpoint and the bearer token here uh, for authentication into Elastic. We're only setting up logging here, remember, just logging no traces and no metrics. And so you can see here that's how to do it, quite easy to do. We then have uh, the SDK object, set the logging provider, set the SDK into global open telemetry, and then we start our Spring Boot application. Really easy to do, super simple. And then all of our logs will go to Elastic. So let's just check that out, right? So here we go. We've got our uh, our Java favorite application, and we're going to quickly build it with Maven. You can see here, Maven's firing up nicely. Running some tests. And then essentially spitting out the jar file, which is great. So the next thing we need to do is we need to set our environment variables. So we go into the Elastic console over here. We go and find those. Essentially what we need is the token and the server URL. Uh, you can find that quite easily in, in Elastic. So you go in here and essentially you set the environment variables. Here's the token, here's the endpoint. I'm in PowerShell, so this looks a little different. And then once you've done that, you can run the application, go back into Elastic, and you should see that logs start appearing here. And we can see actually we've already got some logs. So this is great. We now have logging coming into Elastic. Really nice here, very easy to do, uh, quite straightforward actually. So there we go. These are the logs that we just uh, literally in the last few minutes actually put into Elastic. As you can see here in the services, it will actually appear as a, as a logging and there's no transactions or anything else because we didn't enable tracing, right? But you will still see the, the log messages, okay? So it's quite easy to enable open telemetry for logging. It's even easier if you use the Java agent. Now, what happens, though, if you want to actually use a different method, right? You want to actually just use traditional file-based logs. Well, that can actually be supported as well. Uh, it's pretty easy. You do want to use um, the OTEL MDC appender, so that spans, if you're using tracing spans uh, and baggage and things like that, are also injected into the log files. Uh, there's a polyfill appender here that's interesting. So if you look at the examples that we've got in Ty, Ty's blog, one of my esteemed colleagues, You'll see he's talking about this polyfill appender that actually takes uh, SLL for J key and values and also will put that into uh, the uh, the message that goes into Open Telemetry Collector. And then the Open Telemetry Collector will send the data to Elastic APM. So you can take raw files off the file system and use those to send via the Open Telemetry Collector to Elastic as well. So, two main methods you can use Open Telemetry for logging. The easy method using the instrumentation libraries, which you can either set up manually or with the uh, APM agent. Super easy. So what I recommend you do is you go check out Ty's blog here. It goes into a lot more detail on the pros and cons of the different methods and all those different things. So check it out in the link below and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks very much.